Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rafiat and if this is the first time of stopping by, you're welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, you're also welcome. So first of all, 1000 Naira is the highest denomination we have in Nigeria now, which is slightly below $2. And when you tell a Nigerian that you want to cook with 1000 Naira, people are going to be like, is that even possible? In today's video, I am here to prove that yes, you can actually do it with 1000 naira and this is baking edition. So yes, like I said, this is baking edition and in today's video, I'm going to see how far I can go with 1000 naira. So I intend to bake a chocolate cake. When I mean a chocolate cake, I don't mean uh, because it's 1000 naira, the chocolate cake won't be good enough or it won't be moist or yummy enough. No, I'm going to use the complete ingredients, the standard ingredients that you need to bake a chocolate cake. That's what I will be using. And I'm going to do all of that with 1000 naira. So this is my 1000 naira here and I'm going to be taking you through the process of writing the list and how I intend to spend this 1000 naira and of course the shopping process, how I get the ingredients and all of that. You guys, I'm not sure this is going to work out because we are talking about 1000 naira here and there are quite a lot of ingredients I'll need to get to be able to bake a really good chocolate cake but then I just hope this works. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> Because we are working with a budget, I'm going to be writing both the exact measurements I want to use and the price I hope I'll find them. I'm currently at the place where I want to get the ingredients I want to bake my um, used to bake my 1000 naira cake which I know most people feel is impossible and that I'm about to start buying my ingredients and the sellers here are laughing at me that ha. it's totally not impossible, possible. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they feel it's impossible not for me possible. to bake a cake with 1000 naira but mm. let's just see if I'll be able to get the ingredients so you said one kilo of flour is how much? 550 550 so you give me 200 naira on okay so you measure half kilo then give me 200 from the half yes. kilo let it be more true it's not because it's 200 naira you give me small uh, flow <laughs> So from inside this small thing, you will still cut and give me. Yes. Okay, good. Anyway, ah. vanilla flavor. You have mint yes. flavor too. Yes. Right? So yeah, give me. Let me see the size. So it should be enough for what I want to do. So this baking soda you're giving me is 50 naira baking soda. Put jar out. It's not because it's 50 naira you give me small one. Pull it very Let well. Let me see. <laughs> Money. Mm. Video. I'll make sure that you can watch the videos. I'm here to prove to Nigerians that 1000 naira is very useful and you can do a lot with it. Eggs. Eggs how much? Yeah, 300. Five. Two, three, four, three, you guys, I had to stop by another market because the other shop didn't have all the ingredients I wanted and they didn't have some in small quantities. But then the good news is that I was able to get all the ingredients and luckily are prizes that were already written in the list. So yes, our chocolate cake is slowly coming together. Cowbell, how much? Dando, how much? Pick me, Okunko. 19 naira. You will give me 18 naira. Now two I won't buy for 18 naira. Now that is in the table, now put it in the table. Cut to inside for me. Now it's now 160. Now I did my list. Now that is at the table. I know, grill. So these are all the ingredients, and I'm just going to quickly go over them once more. This is 200 naira, and it's all purpose flour. The sugar is 100 naira. 
um, butter and margarine actually um, 100 naira or 20 naira live <laughs> eggs 3 for 200 milk and vanilla flavor 50 50 naira that's 100 naira water 20 naira cocoa powder 100 naira and the milk 460 naira so exactly 1000 naira like it on the dot <laughs> so all we're going to do now is get right into the baking process of course the first thing to do is to pass the dry ingredients through a sieve which are the all-purpose flour the milk flavor vanilla flavor and baking soda please notice that i did not add the cocoa powder at this stage and i'm going to explain the reason why I don't add cocoa powder amongst other dry ingredients, I'm going to explain that shortly. It's always very important to pass your dry ingredients through a sieve because it's going to get um, help you get rid of lumps, help you get rid of dead ants, weevil and anything you can find in dry ingredients because sometimes you can find these things when you buy these ingredients. It's almost, <laughs> you can't escape it, it always happens. So always make sure you pass your dry ingredients through a sieve. Another very important reason why you should pass the dry ingredients through a sieve is that it's going to create air within the dry ingredients, which is going to make mixing, stirring, and in turn, all the baking process very easy. So yes, always do it. So once you're done with the dry ingredients, set that aside and let's get into the next stage. So I just scooped out about half a tablespoon out of the margarine we got. I scooped that out and I set that aside because we are going to use it later on in the process. And all I'm doing now is I'm just adding the margarine into the bowl. Yes, we need enough of it. And luckily, what we got was just enough for this um, quantity of cake for our <laughs> um, chocolate cake. Once you're done with that, go ahead and add the sugar. The sugar might seem like a lot, but trust me, it's not. The reason you have to add at least one cup of sugar to this, which sounds like a lot, but it's not, is because you know cocoa powder is a major component of chocolate cake and cocoa powder is quite bitter. So you need the sugar to be able to balance the taste of the cocoa powder. So don't be afraid of the sugar. One cup, one and a half cups is okay, but I find one cup to be very, very much okay. You don't need extra so all i'm doing now is to thoroughly combine the sugar and the margarine and i'm doing this in one direction and it took a few seconds so once you're doing this and you've seen that they are well combined you can go ahead and add the eggs and i'm using three eggs for this now it's time to spill some secrets come closer guys so the ideal milk to bake a chocolate cake is buttermilk and because we are on a budget we can't buy buttermilk it's quite expensive so we're going to make our own buttermilk and i've done this several times it's just like the store-bought buttermilk so all you have to do is add one cup of water to a pot allow it to boil take it down from the fire and then add the milk the powdered milk that you want to use mix everything together and introduce your acid agent the acid agents we are using for this is lime lime is very acidic and what this does is that it's going to help coagulate the milk giving your giving us an acidic milk which is buttermilk the reason you have to use an acidic milk to bake a chocolate cake is because it's perfect for um a rising agent and we need a very good rising agent for making chocolate cakes which is why i recommend you use buttermilk instead of regular or plain milk um, to bake a chocolate cake as you can see the coagulation has already happened and you can see that the milk is the um, lime is turning the milk to be acidic which is exactly what we need so yes this one is top secret instead of using just milk make sure you use buttermilk for your chocolate cake recipe this one eh, is top secret <laughs> so this is the stage i like to add my cocoa powder Cocoa powder is too dry, just too dry. <laughs> so if you've used cocoa powder before, you'll understand what I'm saying. Because it's so dry, I found out that introducing it into a form of liquid before introducing it to the general, like combining all the ingredients together, introducing it to a form of liquid makes it absorb moisture first before um you know introducing it to the other ingredients and combining the final batter together so please when you're making chocolate cake or anything that um, requires you to add cocoa powder always group it into the wet ingredients and not the dry ingredients this is what i found out from experience and you know um before when i was always adding it to dry ingredients and not wet ingredients i found out that it's a little bit less moist and when i add it to wet ingredients is you know the perfect moisture that i want so please if you have done this before i would like to know what your 
outcome is or if you've been adding it to dry ingredients or however you've been doing it just let me know i'm really interested in knowing your experience with cocoa powder and making cakes dry or moist so now we're in the stage of combining all the ingredients together and notice that i added the dry ingredients half and half so i added the first half mixed then added the second half and now i'm doing the final mixing i like how this butter turned out i like the rich color the rich consistency and all of that quickly let's talk about the baking method for this chocolate cake i've had so many requests to show how to bake without an oven so in today's video i felt it's a really good opportunity to do that so we're going to be using a pot and you have to understand the principle of baking in order to bake with a pot it's simply to provide dry heat so once you can provide good dry heat your cake is going to come out perfect and the only thing i did was to add a pot stand into the pot then i placed the pot on fire just the way you preheat an oven so this is the preheating process place a pot stand place the pot on fire and cover it um, to preheat and of course there are other options to this you can use oven halogen oven air fryer and all of that and please when you're baking with a pot don't use your best pot <laughs> so that particular pot i just showed is dedicated to baking without an oven so anytime i want to bake with a pot that's what i use so in order to prepare the pan i just added the margarine that we set aside and the extra flour that we had i'm just um, um dusting the flour on the margarine i think the flour was too much but so <laughs> when you're doing yours don't use so much flour just add a little bit and dust it all over the baking pan so the official last stage is to add the butter into the pan i like the fact that this butter looks this really good and the color is so rich once I was done with that, I gently placed the cake pan into the pot. Be careful when doing this because at this stage, the pot should be hot. I know what you're thinking. The pot is not going to burn. It's not going to explode. No, none of that will happen. Now, cover the pot and allow this to bake on low heat. Blue flames, please. Low heat for at least 30 to 35 minutes. And while this process is ongoing, please don't go ahead opening and closing the pot. Just leave it closed on low heat for 30 to 35 minutes. Once that time elapses, Go ahead and open the pot and to confirm the cake has been thoroughly baked pass a clean skewer into it if the skewer comes out clean without any butter attaching to it that means the cake has been thoroughly baked allow the cake to cool for about 10 minutes then flip over in order to get it out of the pan <laughs> you guys the excess flour that i sprinkled on the cake pan it should but then that's not a problem at all we have just successfully finished baking our cake so guys i'm done baking and this is our cake it looks really good looks really moist and i can't wait to cut it open to see what it looks like and what it tastes like but i'm glad this worked out oh my god i can't wait to try it so let's go ahead and try this out and see if we're going to give this one 10 over 10. so this is the moment of truth and i'm just going to take a slice out of the cake you guys wait for it wait for it Ta da it looks really good i love the color it looks really good and it feels really soft as well you guys this is how i make my chocolate cake and this is well baked sweet moist everything cake on a budget so what would you rate this one drop your ratings for me in the comment section so guys this is it i like the fact that it came out really soft moist delicious it tastes really good and it's just 1000 naira yes so i hope i've been able to convince you that you can do quite a lot including baking a yummy delicious everything <laughs> chocolate cake here yeah, with just 1000 naira and you can do this in the comfort of your home and using mini readily available ingredients there's no complicated ingredients in the list and i'm going to put all of that everything you need to know about this um, chocolate cake i'll put it in the box below Thank you so much for coming this far. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for believing that this is going to work. Feel free to go through my channel. I have different videos. Drop a comment, you know, share this post. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It means a lot to me. Bye-bye and I'll see you in my next video. This is really good. You really should try it.